It is Margaret Texas Gal Treasures and welcome to Free to Five Friday where I share tips for different ways to make or save money and on Free to Five Friday we focus on things that are free all the way up to five dollars and today we're going to be talking about free things or free ways to start again. We are live so there's no editing this out either so today we're going to be talking about free stuff to sell on eBay. Where to find free things that you can sell on eBay to make a profit. So my name is Margaret. Welcome if you are new. I am a stay-at-home mom, work-at-home mom that makes extra money by selling online and doing other things. And so that is what my channel is all about, thrifty, frugal living, and making and saving money. So welcome if you're new. Hello. Um, so yeah, I've been selling on eBay for about four years or so, three or four years, Etsy before that. And I do this to make extra money to help my my household. Um, so my income from eBay and Etsy, they it's anywhere from between $150 to up to $500 a week sometimes, depending on how much, uh, in how much investment and time I put into it. So there really is a good bit of money to be made working from home, being a stay-at-home, work-at-home mom, selling on eBay. But if money is tight and if you are living on one income then frequently it is really tight so you might be looking for some things that are free that you can flip for a profit so I'm gonna be sharing five things that you can or five places to find free things but stay tuned because I do have a bonus sixth thing that might stretch you out of your comfort zone but but hang on because we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Um, so I am live. Let me pop my chat up so I can say hello to everybody. Hello, Cherie Johnson. Let me scoot myself over so I'm not like squished up against you. Um, <laughs> hello, Polishek. Wow, long time no see. Hey, Gwen. Hi, Tina and Andy. And Linda is there. Hello, Amber and Beth and Nick. Hey, Nick. How's it going? We were just talking earlier. Okay, so, so the first thing that you might find that is free that you can flip on eBay and some of these you may have heard before but some you may have not um, it are things that that's just around the house things you're not using anymore or maybe a gift that you thought oh, maybe I'll re-gift this or maybe I'll use it but you never did so those are some things that you can flip that's really easy because a number of years ago this is maybe TMI I don't know when I was I was going through a divorce and I was trying to get out of debt because that was a really scary place to be um, I just started going through everything I had that I could make a profit on and just selling and selling and selling it um, to get extra money to ha to pay my debt off that's a whole separate story which is maybe I ought to talk about some days how I got myself out of debt but I never did anyway I never have shared that but I went through my house and found everything I could to sell because that debt was just like a cloud over me. So that is something if you've got kids, especially when they outgrow toys, when they outgrow clothes, those are things that you can flip on eBay for a profit. There's a really good market there for kids stuff, um, for things that are new in package. Let's say your mom gives you this soap set that you're like, I can't stand that smell. I'm really not into this Christmas. What is that? What is that one that like that cinnamon, app cinnamon, apple Christmas smell? I some people love it. I don't. So when people give me stuff like that, it's like, thank you. I know. I of course say thank you, but yeah, it goes somewhere else. Not in my house. So that's the first way. <laughs> that was a long, a long thing. Well, let's just take that and just say like this. Watch, watch this. Here it goes. And well, oh, there. Um. So anyway, <laughs> um, I am live. So yeah, there might be little things that pop up here and there. All right. So the second way that the second thing that you can do is to to apply to get free samples through the mail or magazine subscriptions or things like that so i want to share with you a site that's not the site i have the wrong one up that's my thrifty and frugal <laughs> moms and dads site but hey go join it right so there are a few sites um there this one is called totally free stuff where they update it with new free stuff all the time look everything got wonky all of a sudden of course let me see if I can scooch that over that's not how it works Margaret you gotta scooch it up here um yeah when things get get live when things get live sometimes there's hiccups and this is one of them there we go aha so this gets updated uh, all the time with you know free coupons or free things to try out but one of the things like I see on here sometimes are free 
magazine subscriptions. So on this one, there is a free magazine subscription for Esquire. Where did it go? There's some other ones on here that, but I just wanted to point, where did it go? Seriously, there it is, Esquire, okay? So you can apply, you know, and subscribe with some of these free subscriptions. So here, no, I already did it, I can't show you. But I wanted to show you that you can sell back issues of magazines on eBay because sometimes, let's say Johnny Depp is your dude and you're like in love with Johnny Depp and you missed the Esquire, you know, <laughs> you missed that subscribe that magazine cover that had him on it and you need it you know where are you gonna go you're gonna go to eBay to find it so that is something that you can think about doing one tip I would suggest is if you are going to start signing up for free free things like this like coupons and freebies and things through the mail um, set up a separate email account just for that so your normal email is not just spammed um, so I have a separate email account that I use when I sign into these type of sites um, just because I don't like to get my other accounts spammed with all the stuff. So that is another one. There's a few sites that I like to check out. One is called totallyfreestuff.com. I'm not affiliated with any of these people, so <laughs> it's just what it is. Uh, Free Stuff Times, this is another one that, you know, some of the things are downloadable, they're free Kindle books, but some are physical products and magazine subscriptions and things like that. And then um, the free site.com you can this one's got a lot so you really have to dig and this one if, if there's any of my merch friends out there um, there are some where was it it was like free JavaScript stuff but then when there was free um, fonts I saw it on here earlier I was like oh I'm gonna remember to save that and then I didn't so there there's like free fonts on here too for, oh it was a Halloween font freebie anyway so okay let me check in the chat hello um, hi Gina, hello Glenn Swamp Picker. My inventory base is 40% on freebies. Awesome, that's great. So many items to be redistributed totally. Okay, so those are three um, websites where you can find some of those free things like magazines. Sometimes there's other stuff up there as well. Um, but like I said, um, you get those magazines and it'll ask you for a business name. I put in my Texas Gal Treasures business name. Um, so yeah, those can be flipped on on eBay. So look, look, there's this one, UK Esquire magazine. I know the ones, this one's for US, but hey, this works in the UK as well. Somebody needed that Robert Pattinson edition from the UK, right? Because they, they were in love with him. I don't, I, not that I would know, you know, I don't know anything about like needing that kind of thing at all. I mean, who's Robert Pattinson? Never heard of him ever, ever. Um, so yeah. <laughs> So moving forward, so that's the, the second one. So the third way to find free things are through some of the online groups. Now, there are Facebook groups like Facebook garage sale sites. And then, hi to Crazy Card. Hello, hello. Hello, Silver Hair Stacker. Just saw you come in. And um, let me pop that up. That's that one. Okay, so, oh, this is another site too. Oh, I guess I missed, I missed a couple of them. Oh, I'll get back to free cycle in just a minute. So on Facebook, did I close that tab out? On Facebook, there are garage sale groups. I must have closed it out, hang on. Oh, here's the other one, okay. So you can go find garage sale groups on Facebook in your area, and frequently there'll be free things there. And the site that I like a lot is called Virage Sale. It stands for Virtual Garage Sale. And again, it's... It, it syncs up with Facebook, but it's local garage sale type thing. So this one is dedicated to mommies, you know, Bay Area mommy market. But they put stuff on there that's not just for mommies. But there is a category on here. So if you go down to categories and you go down to free stuff, you can click on free stuff. And sometimes it's just like, come and get this recliner out of my house. I need it gone. You know, so again, here's free stuff. If you're looking for... I don't know, I guess you can sell those. You can sell anything, are you kidding me? So somebody got a deal, they got some free gloves, free books, you know, free sunglasses. There's a necklace, oh my gosh, I miss jewelry. How did I miss free jewelry? All right, free kids books. I mean, so all of these are things that put, they put up for free. You just have to go pick it up. Look, free candle jars. We just talked about candle jars. You're kidding me. Okay, and sometimes they will do this. Free with $10 purchase, like you have to buy something else from their store, but not always. Some of them just are free. And I've done that too when I'm trying to get rid of stuff. I'm like, I've got so much inventory, I just need it out of my out of my face. And I'll put it up there. 
and people will come and get it. And it makes me happy that it's out of my face and it makes other people happy. Oh, jewelry. <laughs> is this, what is this? Half of a best friend's necklace. <laughs> I don't even, I don't even know it. Yeah, but you never know. Somebody may have that other half and they're looking for it. You can get it for free. Okay, so that is another one. Did I leave one of these other ones off? Okay, let's see. We got some friends in the chat real quick before I go to the third one. Yes, yes, I'm live again. Um, <laughs> so I think I had Grandma's Wrinkles. Hello. Yes, Dave Rowland, I'm live again. That's right. <laughs> Living live. <laughs> All right, so after those two, Facebook and Barrage Cell, I, I stuck those together because they're kind of united. You have to have a Facebook account, I think, if it's still connected with Barrage Cell. And another one that you may, have, that you may already know about is Craigslist. Now, as a woman, I'm really super careful about Craigslist because, because I'm a woman. So I, I'm, I make sure I have my husband and I actually have, I think my account is under his name because there's people out there that are not honorable. So we'll put it that way. But there is a free section on um, Craigslist where you can click and it will bring up free stuff near you. And I think you can narrow it down even more. I am... In, in this is just Houston, so it's got everything. So you can put in how far it has to be. But let's say these washer and dryers are broken, or you can repurpose them and flip them, or you can, you know, scrap them if you're a scrapper. But there's lots of different things on here. Look, a Subaru front grill, free, right? You can go get that and flip it on. Free Xbox. I don't know, there's no picture. Free workbench, free smoker. So there's lots of different things on there. See, tree logs. <laughs> I'm sure every lots of people are cutting down trees. Look, free wood in the east end. I, we just had a hurricane and lots of flooding blow through, so be careful with the the wood. Look, scrap metal pickup. I mean, if you're if you're scrapping, then hey, that's a really great free mid century modern chair. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, okay, moving forward. So that's another great place to look. But I, I would caution you if you're a woman to um. Be careful with that, you know, make sure you're safe and take all the precautions, meet at the police station and that kind of thing. And my next tip, oh, I didn't even put this one in here. I'll, I'll just stick it in with Craigslist. There is a site called FreeCycle and you kind of have to be careful because some groups on FreeCycle don't want resellers. They just want it to, you know, recycle and reuse and that you know, only get it if you are personally going to use it. So definitely check it out if, you know, what, what the rules are for your area. So that is another site, freecycle.org, that you can go in and find your area. And this one is all about free stuff. So you're, you're getting rid of stuff free. So that's a good one. Um, let's see, in the chat, um, still beating Nick. Is Nick on? No, it's, no, it's late for him. Let's see, Craig's, oh yeah, Craigslist is like Randy. Hello, mm, I'm gonna just call you apples because I can't read it. It's strange that Craigslist is here in the UK but no one uses it, you use Facebook Marketplace. Isn't there one, what's it called, Gumroad? Is that one that y'all use, Dave? Is that like Craigslist over there? Gum, Gumtree, Gumroad. I always get them mixed up. There's Gumtree and Gumroad. You guys have FreeCycle in the UK? Awesome, awesome, okay. So those that I just paired that one up with Craigslist. And then another tip that I, this is one that I have not done, but if I didn't have enough inventory, I would do is to have a card printed up. You could get it, or you could even just have not just scrap paper, but a, a, a piece of paper that looks somewhat professional or get some inexpensive cards printed up with your name, you know, what you want to call yourself, your business, and your phone number. And when you go to garage sales or estate sales, give them your card and say, you know, if at the end you have extra stuff, because frequently at the end of the garage sale, I know this is what we do, we just throw it all in the truck or the van and we take it to Salvation Army or we take it to the charity shop to donate the rest of it because we don't want to drag it back in the house. Well, you can say, hey, let me save you that step. When the garage sale is over, here's my number. Give me a call or an hour before you're planning on ending, give me a call. I'll bring my truck and I'll gather up everything and take care of it for you. So that saves them a step. I know because at the end of a garage sale, if you've hosted one, at the end of a garage sale, especially in Texas, it's about a million degrees. And the last thing you want to do is start piling stuff in a truck. Um, so that's really 
appealing if somebody's offering that. So have those cards and hand them over. Vistaprint is cheap on cards. There you go. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Swamp Picker. And have that handy because, you know, if you, especially if it's a hot area, the last thing they're going to, going to want to do after sitting in the sun all day is load it all up and drive it over. So, yeah. Oh, you ha you use them? Oh, good, good, Glenn. I figured, I thought you probably had because you're a savvy dude. <laughs> all right, so th that is one. Okay, now the last one, um, this is the bonus. <laughs> this is the bonus one that might stretch you out of your comfort zone, but I have done this one, is dumpster slash curb diving. So again, you have to check the laws in your area, but a lot of times stores put things out in the dumpster that are still really good usable things that can be repurposed or sold. A lot of times people put things out on the curb. I know my dad has put stuff out on the curb that he knows is good. It's just like one item, but he doesn't feel like taking that one item to donate, but he knows I'm going to put it out. Somebody's going to come by and pick it up because they will. So frequently you can find really good things that people are just like, I don't need, I can't even deal with taking it. First of all, problems, right? I can't even deal with taking it to donate. I'm just going to put it out on my curb, whatever. I mean, I got, <laughs> this may sound funny. I got a cornhole game. It was, you know, like, you know what a cornhole game is. It's like you throw the bean bags into the hole, into the, the thing. Yeah, I mean, it was perfectly fine. Cornhole game, right? So definitely check, you know, driving around <laughs> for things like that if, if it's allowed in your area. Let's see. Dave says your video of dumpster diving was cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't climb into the dumpster, so I caught a little flack for that. But and, and I've gone a few times, but I'm just like, not sure I'm that kind of, and I know there's probably really great scores down in there, um, but me in there, I'm not, I mean, glass is not good. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, Glenn is saying, look in the free section on Virage Sale Craigslist. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, so I would love it if you're watching later, if you're watching now, and you have another great tip for places to find free stuff to flip on eBay or even locally, leave a comment here on in the chat or leave a comment down below. Definitely check out the comment section because there's always great ideas and great tips that everybody shares for, for sharing <laughs> because that's what they do, they share. Um, so I'm also going to link here at the end. I have a couple of videos that I've done called Trash to Cash where you're finding things that are free that you can flip on eBay like particular items. So I did a, a regular trash to cash and then I did a trash to cash baby edition that you can use. And then I also have a video for free things you can get for your birthday. So that's a fun one as well. So yes. Oh, I didn't hear the first one though. Friends and family. Yeah, you can get stuff from your friends and family. Definitely. Okay. So yeah, let us know in the comments where you find free things. And also... Have you sold, well, I know most of my friends here have sold on eBay, but if you're new, if you're a stay-at-home mom, work-at-home mom, and you're thinking about it, uh, let us know in the comments section whether you've tried selling on eBay or if you are a little nervous about it because it really is a good way as a work-at-home, stay-at-home mom to make a little extra income to help out around the house. So I want to thank everybody who came and watched live. Thank you so much, everybody. And I will see you guys next time. Oh, I do this every time because I'm using this new system, this OBS, and I always forget how to stop it. <laughs> I'm going to get better at it though. I will. I will. Okay. Thanks so much, everybody. And again, if you're not subscribed, I would love to have you subscribe. Bye guys.